Hey guys, it's Bobby from Nitro ICX and today we're going to give you the first look at our newest Flysky FS GT3B radio system. Now some of you may remember the old GT3B, it's a lot bigger and bulkier. This is its newest uh, counterpart, it's nice and updated, feels a lot more lightweight, uh, it's a lot more smaller, compact, it's got a large digital display and it's running on what Flysky calls an AFHDS system that stands for Automatic Frequency Hopping Digital System. Similar to your FHSS system, it's frequency hopping, uh, resists interference and gives you faster response and clarity uh, and communication between your RC model. A uh, closer look at the transmitter, it's, I like this antenna feature. When it folds down, it's nice and flush. It resists you uh, snapping it off when you're storing it or transporting it. Uh, you got these nice chrome buttons here. A uh, cool feature is this dial here. It's nice and precise. You can feel it click as you turn it. So you'll know uh, the numbers when you're changing it. And you can also scroll a lot faster if you want to get to uh, change it, uh, cha change more features. The steering wheel tension, the steering wheel spring tension feels really good. I like how it feels. It's not too tight, it's not too loose. And um, another cool feature is these buttons down here. Uh, it's right at your thumb tips, so you can change your dual rate or your channel 3 trim on the fly. You don't have to take your eyes off your vehicle while you're, uh, while you're driving. So you can just drive and uh, kind of change those buttons on the fly. Brushed aluminum accents all around, uh, which looks pretty good. Uh, what comes with the box? So when you open the box, you might realize, well, where's my manual? Well, your manual is in this little disc. It's a PDF file. It's nice and colorful, easy to read, easy to understand. Um, you do need Adobe Reader to read this uh, disc, so if you don't have it, you can download it for free online. Make sure you download that before you pop this disc into your computer and take a look at the manual. Even if you don't look at the manual, it's pretty straightforward. It's very easy to use. Uh, we'll show you how to use it real quick uh, later on, but uh, let's move on over to the receiver. It's a nice compact receiver, very small and lightweight. It's got three channels on there. Um, you got your bind plug and your antenna pipe. Uh, and you have a little button there that'll help you program your fail-safe setting for channel 2 if you're using a gas-powered or nitro-powered vehicle. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys how to use this thing. We're going to show you how to bind it, and we're going to show you how to uh, change basic features and functions on the transmitter. So let's go ahead and do that. So first thing I'm going to do is grab this bind plug, and I'm going to plug it into channel 3. That's channel 3 right there. And then I'm going to grab my battery, and I'm going to plug it into the battery channel. Now you want to make sure that black wire is facing towards the outside of the receiver box or if you're unsure you can take a look at that picture. The negative is always going towards the outside of the box. So let's plug that in. The receiver light's going to start flashing rapidly which means it's ready to pair with the transmitter. So once it's flashing rapidly we're going to move on over to the transmitter. Moving on over to the transmitter you're going to notice that there's a bind button up in the top right hand corner. So we're going to hold this bind button and then we're going to put, we're going to turn it on. Once we turn it on, we're going to pay attention to the receiver light. It's going to go solid. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Holding down the button, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to wait until that receiver light goes solid. It is solid. I'm going to let go. Once it's solid, that means it's paired. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the bind plug. I'm going to unplug the battery now that it's paired. Turn the transmitter off. And then I'm going to turn the transmitter on. I'm going to plug one of these servos into channel 1. And then I'm going to plug the battery back up into the battery slot. Now those of you that are using an ESC uh, for you electric guys, of course you're going to plug that ESC into channel 2. So once that's plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and test the function, see if it works. There we go, we got steering. Let's move that over to channel 2, test the throttle. All right, there we go, we got throttle. So now it's paired. Um, it, now it's paired and uh, everything works properly. So that was pretty easy. So pairing that was pretty easy. I'm just gonna unplug that. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys the features on this transmitter. Uh, there's a lot of features, 10 model memory, exponential dual rates. I'll show you the features and kind of quickly show you how this thing works so you guys get an idea of uh, how it works and how easy it, it is to use. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is turn it on so you guys can see what you what what the screen's greeting you with. And it'll say model, model number and FS0. 
This thing actually can store 10 models. This is the first model. Uh, to get to your menu functions, you would push this dial down once. You'll notice this model lights up and you can scroll between different functions on the menu. Now model, if you want to get to a different model, you just push this button down once. And notice how the zero is flashing. That's model one. And you got FS1, 2, 3, and all the way up to 9, and then 0, which is 10. <clears throat> so to get out of that menu, I'll push it again. I'll come over to uh, name. You can actually change the name of your model. You can name it whatever you want. You got three letters or three spaces to name your model. Moving on over to the reversing channel. So this basically reverses your servo. So if your steering's going the wrong way or the throttle servo's going the wrong way, hop into this menu. Push the button once, select your channel, one, two, or three. Now, if you want to move on over here, you would push this END button. Push that button, NOR starts flashing, that's normal. You can go reverse, normal, change your features, and then uh, click this button to save it, and then you're out of that menu. Moving on over to endpoint adjustments, it's at 70 right now. Endpoints are good uh, to use so you don't stress out your servos. Uh, if you you know, go over its mechanical capabilities, you can actually stress out your servo and uh, prematurely wear it down. So to adjust your endpoints, you just push this button, select your channel, uh, let's go to channel one, and then push END to move on over. So that's 70 on the right. If you notice this arrow, that's for the right side. For the left side, that's also 70. You would turn the steering wheel to uh, get to different channels or to get the different directions. So I'm just going to put this back to 100, and that's on the left side. I'm going to move it on to the right endpoint. That's at 70 still, so I'm going to move it on to 100. And to save it, I just push it once. I do want to mention that if you're on channel 2, that's your steering, or that's your throttle, so that's your trigger. So to pull back and forward, you want to be moving the trigger back and forth. Notice how the arrow's moving when I pull the trigger back and forth. Uh, you can adjust your endpoints that way, especially on nitro cars. Some of you guys want to run less brake, more throttle, stuff like that. So that's that, that's your endpoints. I'm gonna get out of there, show you guys the, they have automatic braking system. You got your exponentials for channel one, two, and three. Dual rates, uh, dual rates you can adjust here, or again from that uh, thumb tip, uh, feature on the pistol grip, you can adjust your dual rates there for quicker action, or you can adjust it here. Uh, as well as trims, you can adjust the trims here, or you can quickly adjust your trims via these buttons here, so you don't have to mess with the menus while you're driving on the fly. If you want to make quick adjustments, just hit these trim knobs right here, and uh, you'll get it adjusted. So there it is, it's easy to see. I mean, your, your screen, it, it, it dims out to save you batteries. Um, oh, forgot to mention that you can check your voltage. Let's go back to the home screen. When you go, when you're at model, oh, I'm sorry. When you're out of, when you're out of here, when you push back to get out of the menu, you can scroll left and right to see how many volts you got on your transmitter, uh, so you can see what type of battery life you have there. Probably don't run, want to run it uh, down to nine volts, around 9.5 volts. I'd recommend changing your battery. Uh, so there you have it guys, that's the FSGT3B transmitter, it's an awesome transmitter. Check it out on NitroRCX.com, you won't believe the price, uh, it's a great transmitter for the money. Um, so guys, that, there it is, definitely consider this system, if you're still running on the old AM FM, uh, give this a try and uh, I'm sure you guys will definitely like it. So thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos on NitroRCX.